When you have diabetes, your body does not use or store sugar properly. This can cause changes in the vessels that carry blood throughout your body, including your eyes. These blood vessel changes can damage your eye's retina, harming your vision. This eye disease is called diabetic retinopathy. Your ophthalmologist has chosen to treat your diabetic eye disease with a combination of medication injections and laser surgery. These treatments can help slow the progression of your diabetic eye disease and may save your remaining sight. To understand how diabetic eye disease affects your vision, let's take a look at how the eye works. Light rays enter the eye through the cornea, pupil, and lens. These light rays are focused on the retina, the light-sensitive tissue lining the back of the eye. The retina has two areas, the peripheral retina, which gives us our side or wide-angle vision, and the macula, the small area at the center of the retina. The macula gives us our pinpoint vision, allowing us to see detail clearly. With diabetic retinopathy, damaged blood vessels in the retina begin to leak fluids and blood. When this fluid leaks, it can cause the macula to swell or thicken. This is called diabetic macular edema, or DME, and it is the most common cause of vision loss for people with diabetes. Because the macula is responsible for our central or pinpoint vision, macular edema will affect your ability to see clearly. Your ophthalmologist will treat your macular edema with a medication injection called anti-VEGF medication. This medication helps reduce swelling of the macula, which helps to slow vision loss or perhaps even improve vision. Your ophthalmologist will determine how many injections you need over a period of time. To prepare for your medication injection, your ophthalmologist will clean your eye to prevent infection and numb your eye with anesthesia to reduce discomfort during the injection. Your pupils may be dilated or widened with dilating eye drops. The anti-VEGF medication is injected into the vitreous or jelly-like substance in the center of the eye. You may feel pressure in your eye when the medication is injected. Your ophthalmologist will also perform laser surgery to help reduce swelling of the macula. An anesthetic is used to numb your eye and a special contact lens is placed on your eye to help keep the eye from moving and to focus the laser. It is important to keep your eyes as still as possible during the treatment. The procedure takes about 15 minutes. With focal laser treatment for macular edema, a laser is aimed at specific areas on the retina to seal off leaking blood vessels. The laser is not focused directly on the center of the macula since this would affect your central vision. The goal is to reduce blood vessel leakage around the macula to help reduce swelling and slow vision loss. Your ophthalmologist may recommend several laser treatments to get the best results. It is important to keep in mind that people who have developed blurred vision from macular edema might not recover their full normal vision after laser surgery. As with any medication or procedure, there are risks of side effects and complications with anti-VEGF treatment and with laser surgery. Possible side effects and complications with anti-VEGF treatment may include eye pain, a bloodshot eye, small specks in your vision called floaters, inflammation or swelling of the eye, retinal detachment, which is when the retina pulls away from the back of the eye, clouding of the lens of the eye or cataract, increased pressure in the eye called glaucoma, damage to the retina, cornea, or lens, bleeding, eye infection, vision loss, and the need for more treatment, including medication and surgery. Though it is very rare, it is possible for some people using anti-VEGF medications to have a stroke, hemorrhage, or heart attack. Tell your ophthalmologist if you have had a heart attack or stroke in the last few months. Risks and complications associated with focal laser treatment may include bleeding, blind spots in your vision, abnormal blood vessel growth, ongoing or increasing vision loss, and a need for more laser surgery, eye surgery, or medication. Any or all of these complications may decrease your vision or possibly even cause blindness.
Additional procedures may be needed to treat these complications. Other forms of treatment may be available for your case of macular edema. These options could include other types of anti-VEGF medication, steroids, or just laser surgery without medication injection. Your ophthalmologist can explain why he or she chose medication injections and focal laser surgery for your particular course of treatment. You do not have to be treated for your diabetic retinopathy. However, without treatment, diabetic eye disease likely will lead to severe vision loss. The main goal of treating diabetic eye disease is to prevent further vision loss. Treatment does not cure diabetic retinopathy, but it is often effective in helping you keep your sight. Be sure to keep all appointments with your ophthalmologist after treatments. Also, if you have any changes in your vision, you should call your ophthalmologist right away. Monitoring your vision is a vital step toward the goal of preserving your sight.